everyone, welcome back. I'm in my bathroom, which means I'm going to do a skincare routine. It is morning time, so I'm going to show you a very simple, straightforward way to get dewy, glowing skin. If you're new to my channel, my name is Susan Yara, and I love skincare, specifically skincare. I've been in the beauty industry for almost two decades. I can't believe it. And I've really learned a lot about skincare, especially as I've gotten older and my skin has gotten drier and duller. I deal with melasma. So I really just like to share the tips that I've learned along the way. One of the things when it comes to getting that dewy skin, I feel like dewy skin is just so in and I'm really happy to see that. It's not about wearing you know, a full face of makeup anymore. It's all about having that glow kind of shine through underneath your makeup if you even bother to wear makeup these days. One of the big issues I see, especially with people like me who have naturally dry, dull skin, especially as I'm getting older, my skin's getting duller. The thing that I see people do though is that they reach for the wrong products. They might even have a really elaborate skincare routine, but it's not giving them that glow that they want, that dewiness. And it's all about just choosing the right product. So I'm gonna show you with just, I think this is like four products for the morning time. I'm gonna show you how simple your routine can be if you have the right products. So the first product is from our partner in this video and it is Versed and I'm going to be using this today with Ta -da! face roller. I know it's not a new thing. I know face rollers are really popular these days, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why you need some sort of combination like this. First off, just look at how cool this formula is. If you take a really good look at it, it has oil at the bottom and it has the serum at the top. And what I love about it is that it's a little bit lighter than your typical face oil. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I don't always recommend using face oils on their own. I like face oils and I think that they have their place, but I think people use them in the wrong way and it can be very confusing. Some people only use face oils, for instance, in their skincare routine, and then they feel like they're not getting the results that they need. What I like about this is that you get a little bit of a combo. So you've got some oil and you've got um, also like the serum properties in this and you can either shake it up and look how pretty by the way. Ooh, it's almost like a snow globe. So you can shake it up and then you can see it all blends together and then you just squeeze the dropper. Ooh, look how pretty that is and you get a combination of the ingredients in there, or you can let it settle and you can just choose to use the top one, which is the serum. So what I like about this is you can use it as a serum. So that means before your moisturizer, or you can use it on its own, especially if you, if you have oily skin, combination skin, or normal skin, you can put this on and not wear anything on top of it because the oil in it makes it occlusive enough that it can lock all of the benefits in from the serum portion of it. I tend to have dry skin, uh, especially now in the winter time and stuff. So I like to use this and then apply moisturizer on top of it. Some of the ingredients that I really love in this product, one, there is camellia oil in it and camellia oil is really rich in nutrients. So it has lots of antioxidants in it. It has lots of fatty acids in it. It has a lot of vitamins in it, but it doesn't feel super greasy on the skin. It actually feels nice and light. When you put it on, it absorbs quickly. And that's one of the reasons why I don't love oils is because they can be so tricky. Not all oils absorb really quickly into the skin. They tend to just kind of set on the top layer of the skin. Camellia oil is a different oil because it actually does penetrate your skin in that top layer and delivers all of those nutrients. It also has sea buckthorn berry extract in here. And the reason why I like that is because it's anti-inflammatory. So it has omega fatty acids too, which are just wonderful for your skin to help replenish your skin. But it's also anti-inflammatory, especially Especially if you're dealing with eczema, if you're dealing with psoriasis, which is something I deal with more so on my scalp area, but it tends to like, you know, it can creep in a little bit. Or if you just get any kind of redness to your skin, it's not going to help you get that glow that you want, that dewiness in the morning. So you need to look for those types of ingredients that are going to be anti-inflammatory for your skin. Speaking of anti-inflammatory, it also has chamomile flower extract, which is uh, the main ingredient in the serum part of this. So there's the oils that I just talked about, and then there's the serum part, which is water-based. That has chamomile flower extract. That's also anti-inflammatory for your skin. It also helps to hydrate 
hydrate and everything. It's great because it's anti-inflammatory and it will really help with any of that redness, that puffiness in the morning. It helps to strengthen your skin. So it's just another really good ingredient to look for if you're trying to get that morning dewy look. I just want to show you how pretty this looks on my skin. I know I already look a little bit glowy on my face, so I want to show you just on like my collarbone how pretty that is. And it's really light. It's gonna stay pretty. I like that. I put it into my hand. So a whole dropper full because it's really light. It, it has the oil phase to it, but it feels really like a serum. It feels so nice and light. So I like to make sure that it goes all over my face. I'm really covering my skin getting it on my neck too, because I'm gonna roll there. The whole thing is, you know, I like to use a product that's going to stay slippery on the skin, because you want to have that nice slip to your skin. And if you use something that's gonna dry up too fast, then you're gonna either have to reapply it quickly or your tool is gonna tug on your face, and you don't want that. This is by uh, Sichu. This is Sarah Chung. She is also here on YouTube. This is um, her collection. It was sent to me, and I've been obsessed with this. And the reason why I like it is because it's stainless steel, and it has a little weight to it, so it helps you like roll, I, I don't know, like in a more precise way. There's something about that. It's also just really easy to clean, but it stays nice and cool as you use it, and that really matters when you're trying to depuff. So the way to do it is I always, for some reason, start in this area on my jaw. The thing to keep in mind is I'm doing this very slowly just to show you, but you wanna roll up and then actually lift it off and then roll off. You don't wanna go do, 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 you know, like just back and forth. That's not the way that you're gonna truly get the benefits. If you've done that, it's okay. It's not like you're hurting your skin when you do that, but the best way to do it is to lift off. So you wanna do that like five times in each area that you roll, and you're getting lymphatic drainage. So all of that fluid buildup that you get in your face, especially in, when you wake up in the morning, if you, you know, had too much salt the night before and stuff, you really wanna do this. So you're just gonna work your way up your face. So you can see I'm just rolling, and I'm rolling, you know, a lot of people say to roll towards kind of like your ear area because that's where you want all of your lymphatic drainage to go. So I just basically go like this. Five times. And then I move on actually to the other side. And once I'm done with my jawline and then my cheeks, I turn it over to the small end, another reason why I like this. And then I really focus on my eyes. So I kind of go this way, like up and out. It's kind of like, for the eye area especially, I like to think about where I want my, like the direction I want my eyes to be. So I kind of want them up and out like this. So that's how I roll it. Then I move on to this side. And so what people don't think about, you know, one of the things that we really focus on with lymphatic drainage is that you're getting rid of all that fluid buildup. But the other thing that people don't really talk about is that you are also getting circulation. So that's again, something as you get a little bit older, you need that circulation to get that rosiness in your skin. And as we get older, we lose the rosiness. It's so sad. It's like all the different things that we're losing as we get older. And that is one of the things that happens is that we lose the rosiness in our skin. So you don't want redness in your skin. You want the rosiness. And this helps because it's just increasing circulation and oxygen flow. Sometimes I'll also use a microcurrent device to get the same, same effect essentially. So this is just the faster way. So again, I'm going to flip it around. I'm gonna go up and out on my forehead. People say that I have a lot of Botox in my face, and the thing is, I don't. Cause look, I can actually move my forehead. My trick is that I'm using either microcurrent or a roller like this. I feel like I've got this nice tight forehead, not because of Botox, but because I'm constantly putting sunscreen, really nice ingredients, and rolling my face. Not that I don't get Botox, but it's just not in my forehead. 
So I am done with that. So I take the little side again and the smile lines, same thing. So this isn't something that you have to do. And I don't know if that's actually one of the tricks that people would tell you. Like somebody watching might be like, that's not lymphatic drainage. I know, I like to roll this area. It helps me mentally get through <laughs> knowing that maybe I did something for my smile lines, okay? So once you're done with your face, then you're gonna come to your neck and that's the area where you're gonna just go the opposite direction. So you're gonna go down. All the way around. So you're going from your jawline all the way down. And this is to, again, get the lymphatic drainage. I like to think that it's sculpting my jaw area. Some people will say that the better direction to go is out this way. And when I'm using my microcurrent devices, that is the direction that I go because I don't get into this area at all. But other people will say for lymphatic drainage that you should go down because you've got a lymph area here. So they'll say you need to go towards the heart. So it's really on you, like however you want to do it. Either way, it feels really good. So that's the first step, really fast, really easy. You can see I already have a pretty good glow happening just with that one serum. And you can also see like my skin doesn't look or feel greasy at all. It just feels really nice and almost like it's just hydrated and moisturized. But I'm gonna still put on a little bit of moisturizer just because that's how I do, because I have dry skin. I'm going in with this from Skin Fix. I've been using it. It's their Barrier Plus Lipid Peptide Cream. It's like thick and amazing and gives a really nice glow. You're getting the anti-aging benefits of the peptides. They also hydrate the skin. Then you're getting that moisture. The lipids are replenishing your skin. So I'm gonna let this sit for just a second and then I'm gonna go in with sunscreen and that will be my skincare routine. And you can see that glow, that dewiness, that's gonna last all day. It really is, it's gonna last the entire day. So the only reason why I'm gonna sit for a second is because I like to give a, a little bit of time between my moisturizer and my sunscreen, so I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about five minutes back with my sunscreen. This one is from Elta MD. It's one of my all-time favorite sunscreens. This is a combination of zinc oxide and octanoxate. It's a hybrid sunscreen. One of the things I like about it is that it makes me want to use it every single day. I also love that it's like one pump for your face, one pump for your neck, chest area. So I'm starting with my face and look at this. So it's a little bit tinted and it just makes your skin look flawless. And since this is a dewy skin routine, the thing to point out about sunscreen is that it gives you a dewiness to your skin. If you want that dewy look, you should be even more excited to use your sunscreen because I credit sunscreen for that dewy look all the time. Like whenever people are like, ooh, your skin looks so pretty, I'm like, thank you, I'm wearing sunscreen. And you can see, I just put on three products. That is it, that is all I'm wearing. And I love the way my skin looks because I feel like it is glowy. I feel like it's lifted. I feel contoured. And I'm gonna look like this the entire day. I'm not gonna put anything else on. I might put mascara on, but as far as skincare products go, that's all I'm gonna wear. So I'm gonna do one more pump. And that's gonna be, this is tricky because I've got, to be on camera, I've been, I'm wearing this top for you that has, it's a cream colored top, but this could be a little tricky. I might have to do this off camera. Now I've heard people say that this just looks like I'm greasy because that's what they consider to be that glowy look. Like the glowy look to some people means that this is greasy. I don't think so. I like to look like this, a little disco ballish. But you can see, so with the combination of the serum, the moisturizer, and my sunscreen, glow. I love it. Everything's gonna dry down a little bit more matte. And that's one of the things that I like about the sunscreen so much is that it will dry down a little bit. In fact, I'll be back in like five minutes. Give me like five, 10 minutes. I'll be back and I'll show you how it dries down. 
Okay, so it's been about five minutes. This is what my skin looks like after it's dried down a little bit. So I still have that dewiness to my skin. It doesn't look super greasy or anything like that. I didn't put anything else on my face. Even with the oil serum underneath my moisturizer and my sunscreen, my skin just has that nice finish to it. So thanks for getting ready with me this morning. Feel free to ask me any questions below. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.